Yes, sir. This car here. Yes, sir. All right. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Wait till they seem to roll in. Well, Dad, where do you think you're going? Well, I was going to the arena. Then I was going to the office of the Boxing Commission. Then I was going to Johnny Montero's training camp. What for? What for? You seem to forget there was a time when I was a fight promoter. Sean. Uh, uh, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Why don't you let me out of this cage once in a while? Now, Sean, you know what the doctor said. Ah, uh, that's Well, if you'll do what he wants for you to do, you'll be all right. Listen. All you have to do is to send that doctor a hundred bucks a month. Well, I'm glad to see you were taking the stuff I've been working on. You know, the least you could say is that I was doing a good job. Well, why not? I taught you, didn't I? <laughs> Promoting fights for me and making a pretty good job of it, too. Huh? <laughs> well, that's the compliment you've been fishing for, isn't it? Why don't you say thank you? Thank you. Sean, you've been simmering for a couple of days. I've been waiting for you to boil up. What's bothering you? Johnny Monteros is our only champion left. He's our only real capital asset. And this Alan Goff, he's trying to steal him from us. Is that all that's worrying you? Well, doesn't it worry you? No. The only worry I have is that you keep well. Ah. I'm going out to the training camp. Anything you want me to tell Johnny? No. And don't worry about Alan Goff. I'll take care of him. <laughs> well, what are you laughing about? Uh, you think you're a regular little ball of fire, don't you, huh? Mm hmm So you're going to set fire to Alan Goff and all the rest of the world, too, huh? Yes, I am. Uh. See you later. Yeah. O'Malley? Where's Johnny Ken? Uh, he's inside. Thank you. Johnny! Good morning. Good morning. Not so public this way. Now I can go to work. This place is only 25 miles from Times Square. I don't like some of the dropper inners. Meaning Mr. Alan Goff? Exactly. What does he want? Same thing. Me to get out of my contract with Sean and sign with him. Worried about it? Oh, yes, I'm very worried. <laughs> Let's go. Do you want to loosen up some more? No, I feel fine. Working with the light gloves? Yeah, I want to see you go today. All right. Okay, Marty? Okay. Isn't Rick coming out? Why, uh, he'll be around later, I guess. Come on, sit down, honey. Pat. Say it again. Say what? Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I'd like to hear you say that. Well, now, you just remember that the next time you blow up at me. Honestly, you and that temper of yours. You know, sometimes you I You almost think... think it isn't worth it. No, I wouldn't go that far. I'll tell you what I'll do. I apologize, I apologize, I apologize. That's payment in advance for the next three times I fly off the handle, okay? Okay. I love you. Does anybody do any boxing in this training camp? Okay, Trip. Let's go. I want you to make him work, Marty. Time. Hiya, Harry. Hi. Okay, Marty. He's a good boy, Johnny. Deserves the best. This 
non-title bout he's training for isn't drawing flies here. Won't at the arena. Golf promotions, no non-title bouts, never. Sean slipped. Got to lose money. Lots. Thank you, Mr. Gow. I'm sure that my father will be absolutely delighted that boxing's number one promoter is worried about us. Right hand, Johnny. Punch with your right. Brother, he got his hand that time. You dumb goat leading with your head. Cut it out, Trip. I'm sorry, champ. Let's go. Gum, call Doc Esmond. Make sure he'll be in his office. Does it hurt much, Johnny? Well, it hurts. Make sure Rick's covered. His paper gets the story. Yes, I will. See if you can find him, will you? Tell him well, that... Well, we'll meet you at the doctor's, and please don't worry about it. I know it'll be all right. Larry, who's covering for Rick? I'll call him for him. Fine, thanks. Ken, where is he? Well, I did hear something about last night. Haggerty's. He... Yeah, that's right. I got it. Seen Rick? Have I seen him? Huh? He did this and this and this. Where is he? And those. Haggerty. And not a mark on him. You know, Pat, Rick don't tie one on hardly more than once a year. Only when he's carrying a torch. But when he does tie one on, man, it's a joy to behold. Haggerty? Why, he took this tray. Haggerty, he... where is he? Around the corner. Where else? <laughs> <laughs> How much bail on him? On Rick? Well, this time it's on the house. Well, Rick's been with us ever since he was a police reporter. We well, couldn't... Well, what a pleasant surprise. Open up, Mike. Look at her, will you? She's what the weatherman hopes for when he says fair and warm. Hurry back. Rick, people who didn't know you would think you were a drunk. What's the matter with you? Well, it's psychoanalytical. When I was three years old, my father was taller than me. I never got over it. Oh. Not broken, just bruised. That's great, Johnny. But I know I my head ain't that hard. What about the fight? It can go on. I'm certain the commission will agree. What about training? I'll put a bandage on it. You'll have to lay off boxing for a while. A week to get over, 10 days maybe. You'll still have time to get him ready for Heldon, won't you? Heldon, humpity dumpity. Beat it, boys. Right there, hmm? Yeah. Tell the reporters outside, will you, Trip? Sure, John. I have a feeling you're holding out on me, Doctor. <laughs> Should we bandage the hand? That wasn't the whole story. Well, it's bruised, yeah. How long has it been since I looked at your hand, Johnny? About a year. 18 months. How many fights in that time? 10, 12. The structure of the bones has changed. Considerable damage has been done to this hand, especially at the base of the metacarpal. There's evidence of a hypertrophic change in the second and third metacarpal. Have you been using light gloves for training? Yeah. Well, don't do that anymore. Let me have it straight. All right, Johnny. If you're lucky... Luck? Luck's for gringos. Well, give that hand care and treatment. Limit the number of fights each year. Watch your taping, and maybe it'll last as long as your legs. And maybe it won't. Yeah. That hand could go any time, Johnny. And I always kind of thought it would be a thumb in my eye. Can this be just between us? Do you have to tell anyone else? No. Let's get the bandage on. This isn't the kind of news I'd like to give you, Johnny, but I must say you're pretty tough about it. Oh, I'm not so tough. I'm scared to death. <laughs> Don't show it. And I learned a long time ago to make being scared work for me instead of against me. May we come in? Well, sure. Hello, Hello. Mrs. O'Malley. Rick. Johnny, they say your hand's okay. Yeah. It is all right, isn't it? I mean, it won't hurt him to fight. Oh, no, it's nothing serious. It's only a bruise. 
Oh, that's wonderful. Fine thing. I stay away oh, sure. one morning and you fall He's apart. That's just it. You should be around when I work. You're my luck. How's the food out at the camp? Fine. Why? Thought I might come out and spend the night with you. Oh, well, I'll be there first thing in the morning, because I want to tell Sean about your hand. Well, all this attention. I think I'll get an aspirin. Mail call. Here, Marty, read this with your dark glasses. <laughs> Where's the champ? He didn't want to play horseshoes anymore. Beat us playing left-handed. Where'd he go? Somewhere back by the creek. Thanks, Rick. Want to take a ride? Okay. Where are we going? It's a long way to Los Angeles. Hey, you got mail from L.A. You got bills. Letter from a sports writer. Suckerless mail. Yeah, you got bills. Open up the letter from L.A. Go on, read it. Might be something personal. I got nothing personal from L.A. Dear Johnny, I'm sorry, got to write you bad news and need help. Louis got in fight and... Luis. Luis got in fight and street and is in jail. Lawyers say it costs $200 to make out. Sorry bother you with this, Johnny, but got to have help. You know it would do same for you. Best regards, Aunt Felicia. Got to send in the $200. She says she'd do the same for me. Only she wouldn't have the $200. Who's Luis? That's a good question. Who is Luis? Me. Hello, Luis. No, no kidding. Luis is my cousin. Me, 10 years ago. Mexican, high school graduate, and a nice future picking letters. But you don't like to pick letters. Nothing wrong with letters. But you want to make more money, so you want to be a fighter. But Luis can't hit, so he doesn't become a fighter. That's right. Luis can't hit, so he becomes a hoodlum, gets into a knife fight in the street, and uh, you've got to send him $200. Lots of Mexicans do fight. They've got to fight. Only a poor man would take the chance of getting his brains beat out. You don't find any prelim boys or challengers graduating from Harvard. Oh, what are you worried about, Johnny? You didn't go to college, and you're a champ. Yeah, yeah, I'm up there. And I'll stay there until I get a thumb in my eye or something else happens. Uh, I think the horse is getting tired. We'll give him a rest, huh? Okay. Morning, kid. Hello, Miss O'Malley. Coffee's still hot. Have some? No, thank you. Maybe a little later. Where's the champ? Good morning. Morning, Piper. What's the added production? Huh? The swing. Oh, nothing. Doc told me to keep it this way. Rest. Not so public this way. You know, that sort of thing can lead to juvenile delinquency. Well, gentlemen of leisure. Oh, I don't know. I did some road work this morning. Even worked out a little with the left. Three ringers. May I come in? Yes. Nobody ever made a living pitching horseshoes left-handed. I figure that. So I retired undefeated and still champion. Well, you know, if you keep that arm in a sling, you'll be able to retire from the ring undefeated and still champion. How's Sean? Oh, he's fine. He sends you his best. He's glad it isn't anything serious. I am, too. Like I said, it's nothing. Well, that's a comfort. I would certainly hate to have to look around and find myself another boy with two good hands. I think you could find one. Well, thank you, Johnny Monteres. Maybe he'd even be a Harvard graduate. Maybe he'd even have good manners. You two may as well marry each other. You get the bitter with the better anyway. I have never played horseshoes in my life, but I think I'll have a go at it now. 
Uh, Nassau. You. Come on over and take a beating. Here I come. Now that we are in the privacy of your library, would you mind telling me what you meant by that crack about a Harvard graduate? You were niddling me. Oh, that's very interesting. I drive 25 miles up from New York to see how Prince Charming is feeling. And this comes under the heading of needle. I'm very sorry. Thank you for driving 25 miles. It's 50 miles, including the way home. Thank you for driving 50 miles. My problem concerns transportation. In New York, I do fairly well by subway and taxi cab. Neither of those means being available to me in this peaceful little country home. I had intended going back with... Oh, shut up. I'll have Nassau drive you back. It's only 25 miles. Well, I'm glad to know you're an expert on the distance from Shady Knoll to New York. I myself do not have this particular talent. But, uh, did I ever tell you I was a canine fancier? I used to own two genuine mongrel pups. When they'd get hurt, one of them would run over to me to have his ears scratched. When the other one got hurt, he'd run off in his corner and sulk. That's you. If that's me, why don't you leave me alone? How oh, can I? You're so sweet. Now scratch my ear. How bad is the hand, Johnny? Just the way the doc said. What makes you ask? The gentle way you treated Pat. No, the hand's okay. A week, ten days, it's as good as ever. Murder Incorporated. Yeah, and the first one I'll use that on will be Marty Lynn, that dumb gringo sparring partner sticking out his head. Oh, you're off on that kick again, a gringo conspiracy. He took careful aim with his head and slugged your hand with it. Oh, brother. Cut it out, Rick. Poor Johnny. I weep for him. All he's got in the world is a beautiful girl in love with him, just won the championship. Big money started to rain in on him. Five years of fighting ahead to fill the rain barrels with. Yeah. Yeah. And what would I have if I weren't champ? I know all the percentages. I don't want to end up another ex-bug with his brain curdled. In the last 20 years, there's been 40,000 fighters. And you know how many retire with money? Six. That's 6,666 to one against me. The mathematical brain talking. That's me. Yeah, that's you. But there is a part of your life you can't live by the adding machine. I've done okay so far, haven't I? Yeah. But for a guy who's had the great breaks you've had, one bad break and you can get awfully sorry for yourself. Why? Can't you get over the notion that it's still the whole world against Johnny Monteris? Pedro, someday you'll say the wrong thing and I'm going to break my hand on you. But good. <laughs> you will at that. Hey, Nassau. My stuff in the locker room? Yep. Buzz me into town, will you? Sure, Rick. Pedro, stop in and see Pat. Oh, you forgot to kick her in the teeth? You want me to do it for you? Tell her I'm sorry. Pick up the phone and tell her yourself. Ah, Pedro, she's sore at me, but... But I'm the guy who can fix it. Yeah. I'm the guy for the soft words. What do you say, huh? You'll tell her for me? Oh, sure, you know I will. Yeah, I know. Hi, Johnny. Rick, I'm over. News for me, Johnny? Oh, wait till he goes. He'd print it. That's what I like about our friendship. Everything out in the open. Move over, Nassau. I'll drive. I'm insured. <laughs> oh, uh, Pedro. Yeah? I forgot to tell you. You're sweet, too. Tom, you're my lawyer. You've been giving me advice for a long time. I decided to take it. That is news. Goff? Yes. Boxing's always been run by one man, Johnny. It's the nature of the business. Tex Rickard, Sean, now Goff. We've been tied to the wrong man. Well, now I'm ready to untie Sean and go with Goff. Good. He mentioned something about a long-term contract with Goff Promotions after I retire. Let's pin him down. What finally made you see the light? The hand. It's more than just a bruise. You know, Tom, in the last 18 months, I've had 
12 fights. Doc Eslin says it's badly damaged. How badly? It can go any time. If Goff knows about that hand, Johnny, he won't want you. Nobody knows. Only Doc Esmond, you and me. Good. And we'll get to work. Goff's your only chance for a real future now. Yeah, my only chance. You'll see him, huh? I can't go to him suddenly. You've been turning him down for months. Now we switch. He'll want to know why. I'll set it up for you to bump into him somewhere. We'll let him sell you. OK. Now, what about your contract with Sean? You've got to break that, you know. I'll talk to Pat. You know how she feels about her father. I don't think you can handle it that way. I've got to handle it, no matter what she thinks. Without a future for me, there's no future for Pat and me. You don't want to tell her about the hand? No. Thanks for coming out, Tom. I'll be seeing you. Hello, Sean. Ah, oh, the Chopin, the typewriter. How are you? Fine, fine. Where's Pat? Did the mech send you to dry her tears? Well, don't bother. She's tough. She cut her teeth on the low rope of the ring. What's that you're doing? Oh, well, Xing the seat sold for the fight. Mm, very few Xs. Cut out those non-title bouts, and you might sell a few tickets. Where is Pat? What's that buzzard look you're giving me? Who, me? Oh, Rick. Uh, you got a cigarette on you? Uh, doctors don't want me to smoke. Say it's bad for my heart. Hogwash. Go on, give me one. Sorry, I'm fresh out myself. Rick, I hope you never have to go through it yourself. The taste of the smoke in your mouth when you have none. The savor of the good, ripe Virginia with the golden filigree of tobacco well lit. Sold. You should have been a tobacco auctioneer. Hey. Mm. What are you gaping at? It'll take more than one cigarette to make me drop dead. Besides which, I won't be ready to die until I'm on top again. Oh, you will be. You know the old saying, seven lean years, seven fat. I was a great promoter, you know. And yet the thing I wanted most, I couldn't promote. What was that? Promoting Pat away from that Johnny. Getting the idea of marrying him out of her head. How would you look with that chart wrapped around your neck? Easel and all. And what are you doing with the cigarette? Uh, Honestly. Let that Johnny hold you close and kiss you till you swim, if that's what you got to have from him. But don't marry him. Hey, uh, Sean. What do you want? Uh, if you promote her away from him, how about steering her my way a little, huh? Uh, nothing doing. That'll only be out of the frying pan. Good morning, Rick. Hi, Mike. Well, what's your problem? Me? I got no problems. What am I supposed to do? Put an ad in your classified? Dear Johnny, come home. All is forgiven. Well, what's your excuse for him this time? Try this excuse. I think Johnny's afraid. Well, if that's the kind of guff you're going to talk around here, you can take your coffee somewhere else. Out on the terrace, Frank. Yes, sir. Don't think we won't. Go on, go on. Don't mind me. How many? Two. Won't you ever remember? I'm sorry. Did I ever tell you I was a canine fancier? Yes, Rick's other life. I used to own a litter that had seven spotted pups and one pure fawn. The seven made it pretty raw for the one. He used to have to fight tooth and claw for every bite of food. So he was mean and wild. But do you know he turned out to be the best friend I ever had? Then he fell in love with such a pretty little pooch. Made her the best mate you ever saw. Except when he'd get in trouble. Then he'd take it out on her. You know why? Why? Well, he loved her more than he did himself, and he just had to hurt the one he loved the most. I like knowing you. 
good to have an old friend of the family. And anyway, I collected my apology in advance. Uh, would you get me flat 06352, please? I still don't know why you didn't fall for a nice, uncomplicated crumb bum like me. This thing called love. Don't try living without it. Trip, this is Rick. We'll put Johnny on the phone. Hello, you. Thanks. Turn around, Audrey, dear. I want to take stock. Mm-hmm. Yep, still all there. That's good. Well, how is everything? Any calls that you think? Ah, oh, who's that? That's Dusky Ledoux, a new model around. Why? Ah, oh, no, relax, honey. Your turn will come. Not a chance. My intentions are strictly honorable. The calls. Oh, these came. There may have been some others while I was at dinner. Please, please, the paper likes to be able to reach me. You'll probably get yourself fired. Some people find a home away from home. You've got an office away from the office. Well, don't turn walkers here. Mm, I'm trying to dunk. Oh, Rick. Oh, hi. Hi, Walker. Hi, Rick. Hello. Uh, buy you a bourbon? Oh, no, thanks. I, I got a tip for you, Rick. Well, good you came around. I could use one. Uh, Goff is matching Rogan and Al Norson in Jersey City. Well, I'll follow that up. That's worth ten any time. Thanks. You might keep your fingers crossed for me, that opening on the bulletin. Say, I know the editor down there. Maybe if I put in a word... Oh, well, uh, no, not just yet. It's a little indefinite. I see. Thanks. Uh, that was a nice piece you wrote on the Runyon Cancer Fund. Thank you. I, uh, you'll excuse me, I've got a... Sure, sure. Good to see you. Hello, boys. Buy you a drink? No, thanks. Not me. I don't know why Rick keeps feeding you tens. Got any tips to peddle? If I ever did find something worthwhile, I'd never peddle it to you guys. Why not? You guys write with your typewriters. Rick writes with his heart. <laughs> well, <laughs> score one for the weak side. <laughs> well, there goes the great torchbearer himself. So what gambit he's opening with this time? The, uh, haven't we met before one? No, 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 I've got it. The tell me one. Tell me, are you married? Why, no, I'm not. Well, how did a gorgeous what not like you ever get away? On shoe leather and roller skates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> we'll have spaghetti with mushroom sauce, nice green salad, garlic bread, big bottle of burgundy. I know just the place. Where? My apartment. Right from left field. Spaghetti a la Rick Gavery. Best you ever flopped your lips over. Make it myself. Well. Now, if you're a good girl, I'll tell you the recipe. I know the ingredients. Hiya, Chef. Hi. Hello, Johnny. Oh, no. Hello, Pedro. You have the inconvenient of schedule. Why don't you train in Buffalo to start right across the river? Uh, Miss Ledoux, Mr. Monteris. Hello. Hi. What are you doing here? Well, I'm going up to see um, Mom. She heard about this. I don't want to worry about it. And, and you want me to go with you? Yeah. Well, I think this is being a little overly sentimental on my part, but we'll meet again. I know. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for using the soft words with Pat. Oh, think nothing of it. You brought me out a check for a million dollars and let it go at that. Yeah, but next time, don't go comparing me to a dog, will you? I told you I was a canine fancier. So long, Audrey. Bye. If you weren't such a dog, I wouldn't fancy you. Mamá, si me vas a preguntar cómo está la mano, pregúntame. 
¿Qué dijo el doctor? Que la mano ha sufrido un daño considerable, especialmente en la base del metacarpio. Hay también evidencia de un cambio hipertrófico en el segundo y tercer metacarpio y cierto uh, 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 palmar displacement. Pa pa palmar displacement? Don't let the big words frighten you, Mom. Big words? It, it should pain a lot. Some, some. Oh. Well, now the pain's gone, you see? And don't worry about the hand of mine. A week it will be fine. That's right. Why should I worry? Hi, sis. You can fight better with one hand than any man alive with two or, or even three. Marina, you get gorgeous here all the time. Hmm. Thank you, Rick. That's from your brother, Felipe. Hmm. New records, huh? He's in Phoenix. Bust boy in some club of golf. Arriba! Ole! <laughs> hey, Mom, how's your rumble? Ay, Ronda, hijo mío, yo soy vieja. Go ahead, Ronda, go ahead. No, go ahead. no, hombre. Bueno. Ella. Despacito, hombre. Así se baila, mamá. I'll get it. I'll take it. Please, Johnny, no trouble. Hello, Bob. I Hello. tried to phone. I told you before, she's not for you. And as long as I am head of this house, she's never into you. Now, don't make me tell you again, will you? Why, Johnny? What have you got against me? It's a long, long story. It's all right for you to love a gringo, but for me, it's wrong. Why? Because you'll get hurt. But you don't know him. You won't even talk to him. He's a decent boy. But you keep him away from me the way you keep your Miss O'Malley away from us. Maybe he's decent, maybe he's not. I don't know, I don't care. They're all the same. Name lovers. You're a Mexican. Well, that's all right with him, as long as you're the sister of Johnny Monteris, the champ. Who knows how long I'll be champ? I've got a plan. If it works, your gringo might stick to you. If it fails, he'll be through with you no matter what you think. Just give me time, Marina. You're not worried about me. You're worried about yourself. You're afraid, Johnny. Yes. You're afraid if you lose your title, you lose your gringo girl. Johnny! She's the one you think wouldn't stick to you. You think if you weren't the champ, you'd lose her. I'm sorry, Mom. Bring my coat, will you, Pedro? Yeah, he's a hard guy to understand. Is he? This girl he loves, if she had to live like we lived in Phoenix and Los Angeles, she had to share one filthy room with him and the one bathroom with him and ten others. Would she pledge him her love? No. There's no green one alive who don't think he's better than ten Mexicanos. You've taught him to think that way, Mom, and you're wrong. Sure, a lot of gringos are like that, but not all, not by a long shot. Not to you, Ricky. You are no gringo here. That's why Johnny calls you Pedro. Well, uh, hasta la vista, Mom. Hasta la vista, Ricky. You know, I'm a member of the Anglo-Saxon Protestant majority. Why doesn't anybody ever feel sorry for the poor majority? All right. I feel sorry for you. Say, uh, you do a pretty good rumba. You know who really does a good rumba? Who? Pat. Does your plan ever include bringing her up here? She doesn't belong here. You think she's too good for you, don't you, Johnny? Every man's been in love with a woman he thought was too good for him. You're a pretty good man yourself, but be careful. I'm always careful. 84 fights, not a mark on me. Be careful you don't lose Pat. Who's going to take her away from me, Pedro? You? Just don't take her away from yourself. Larson's ready to work now, Mr. Goff. Hi, Ella. Hi. Hi, Mr. Goff. Hi. Hi. Shake hands. Hello, Mr. Goff. I'm glad to see you. I've got an interest in this boy. What do you think of him? Never seen him work. Take a look. I like him. Like you, Johnny. Still want you with us. 
You, Augie Ferris, the only champs not with us. I want them all. Every champ, every division. And Bamford was around. Didn't say you wanted to chat. Somehow I got the feeling maybe you did. So? Chat, Johnny. Chat. Well, I, um, I'm thinking of the future. After I'm champ. You know the score. When you've retired, undefeated, can certainly use you in the organization. Can guarantee you a great future. A ten-year contract with golf promotions. Get out of your contract with Sean first. I'll give you till just one week before the Helen fight to do it. Why the hurry? Why not? Make up your mind. Sean can't give you anything but love, baby. Ride with me, baby. It's a diamond-spangled banner. When I get out of my contract with Sean, I'll have Balfour do the chatting with you. Great. Who could ask for anything more? How's the hand? Oh, fine. Fine, Mr. Gold. Protect it. No good to me without it. No good to yourself, either. No present, no future, no nothing. Talk like that needs time to sink in. So one week before the Helen fight, Johnny, no more. But is this a promotion? No. This is a better typewriter. Patty, my love, I'm flattered. What was that for? When you're mad, you always wear that hat on the back of your head. Oh, I am mad. I hear Johnny's been reaching out to golf. You're out of your mind. Oh, am I? Coffee time. Johnny had never ditched Sean. Why wouldn't he ditch you? Because of the way Sean built him up and backed him? Because of Johnny's fine sense of loyalty? Oh, now, wait a minute. Sean wasn't doing it out of sweet charity. He made his out of Johnny. That you see Sean in shining armor. Believe me, it isn't there. This fight game is dog eat dog. There isn't a the one Sean hasn't taken his bite out of. Johnny is the only capital asset Sean has left. It's the only thing that's keeping him alive, Rick, his, his hope for a comeback. Capital asset. Now, that's a fine way to talk about the guy you love. Go ahead, deposit him in a bank, put him away in a big vault, but stop running to me. The Lonely Hearts Department is down the hall, third door from the left. And besides, you know how I feel about you. Oh, now, Rick, you know you're the sort of gent who'd rather torch for his lady than get her. Marry him. Forget golf and your pride and Sean's past glories. Don't let those foolish notions get in your way. How can I marry him? Johnny's never asked me. Then ask him. He loves you. Any woman can get any man who loves her to marry her. What are you waiting for? You were going to kiss me then, weren't you? Yep. Marry him, Pat. Make an honest man out of me. So it's true, huh? Goff and Monteras. That's the word. I've got Johnny coming out here now, and I'm going to have it out with him. Cigarette, Sean? You haven't had one all day. No, thanks, Pat. Shouldn't you be in an uproar? Keep that whatnot out of this place? Sean, the raging lion? I'm too tired to rage. Well, I'm not. And I'm going to have it out with Johnny. He won't let you. He'll take you in his arms and melt you down. If he wants to get out of his contract, Pat, we'll let him. Oh, Sean, get mad, please. I don't think the doctors would like it. Just this once. It frightens me to see you take it lying down like this. Maybe the boy's right. I am old and worn, and he still has the rich road ahead of him. Oh, Sean. I understand Johnny and the way he feels. If men like Johnny weren't so hungry and they had to earn their living with their blood, a promoter never got socked in the jaw, you know. I suppose the men that actually stop the punches are entitled to all they can get. Goff can do a lot more for Johnny than I can right now. You know, for a man who doesn't like Johnny, you seem to like him a lot. I understand him. I don't like him. I don't like any man who's ashamed of the blood that's in him. Johnny isn't ashamed of being a Mexican. 
it, it's, it's just that he doesn't like some of the things that have happened to him because he's a Mexican. Let him go, Pat. No. Oh, someday, Sean. You... I know. Someday I'll be on top. <laughs> I'm afraid you got a blind spot as far as your old man is concerned, Pat. You're emotional, not logical. Hello, blind spot. Good night, emotional. How will you? I don't like women drivers. Sean. I'm all right. My hand caught in the wheel. But I will have one of those cigarettes. Miss O'Malley. Hello, Pat. Sean, glad to see you. Hello, Johnny. How are you? You, you caught me just as I'm going to bed. Oh. Good night, dear. Good night, Johnny. Good night, Johnny. Good night. You sure keep close tab on me, just like we were married. I had to sneak out on trip. Sean still has a friend or two. We got a call. You and Goff. Well, you hear a lot of talk. You hear talk that I love you. That I love your eyes. What are you up to with Goff? Eyes big enough to get lost in. You're going to tell Sean. There's more where that came from. Get out, Johnny. I want to talk to you. Go ahead, talk. Oh, Johnny, you've never asked me to marry you. Something old, something new, borrowed, blue, they're all in my hope chest. Are you ever going to ask me? Do you think that would be a more binding contract than my contract with Sean? No, Johnny, it's love I'm talking about. Are you ever going to ask me? Yes. When? When I'm sure I can take care of you for good and all. Oh, Johnny, I want to take care of you. I want to help you, be part of you. Oh, please, let's get married now. Believe me, the sooner the better our chances. No, Pat, no. Oh, you're so pretty. And so little, so warm, like a kitten. It's so mad at you, Johnny. I get so mad at you. Yes, I know. But not for long, never for long. You're my girl, Pat, and there'll never be another. A note from Miss Ledoux. Ah. The note says no. Wonderful, wonderful. Shocking, I believe. Mm-hmm. With your talent, you should marry a rich widow. Well, I'd make every girl in New York unhappy. Excuse me, lads. <laughs> Let's have the royal robes and the chapeau. I'm going visiting. The note does say no. Mm -hmm. But you won't tell. I'll be out at Johnny's. Singing him to sleep, no doubt. Could be. Oh, Rick. Oh, hi, Walker. I just wanted to tell you, I'm on the trail of the biggest fight yarn since Lewis Walker. I haven't got the dope. Oh, yet. now look, Walker. Stick to the $10 stories, will you? That's all I can afford. You know, it's funny, but it, it's true. It's the big one, all right. Allá en el rancho grande, allá donde vivía. Había una rancherita que alegre me decía, que alegre me decía, te voy a hacer tus calzones como los que usa el ranchero, te los comienzo de lana, te los acabo de cuero. <laughs> What? How can anyone play that? Te voy a hacer tus calzones como los que usa el ranchero. Te los comienzo de lana, te los acabo de cuero. <laughs> well, that's enough of that. Ah, oh, Pedro, I like to hear you sing in my language. Who's running out here? Me, who else? Ha, 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 Play cards, will you? Say, what did you learn to speak Spanish? Well, Haggerty and I spent some time in Havana. Oh. It's a nice language. It's una lengua muy uh, sentimental. 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 It's a good thing you came out tonight. 
I'm trying out my hand first thing in the morning. And you won't have any trouble. I'm your luck. Yeah. Someday I'm going to write a book. Habits of sports writers and how they grow. How would you know what girl to dedicate it to? Oh, I'd just dedicate it to the woman I love. That'd guarantee an enormous sale. <laughs> Uh, words out around hoops that you skipped training the other day. Yeah, I was at Flyman's gym. Uh-huh. I understand Goff was there. That's right. Johnny, Johnny, what are you trying to do? Cut Pat out of your life. Trying to keep her in it. Songs my mother never taught me. I don't know which keys you punched in that adding machine of yours, but your figuring's all wrong. It balances all right. Well, do me a favor, will you? When you tell Pat you want out on Sean, let me know first. I want to keep the whole evening free. I'll let you know. Thanks, mastermind. I'm wrong. With you, I'm always wrong. Why don't you stick to that old felt hat? That halo doesn't fit you so good. Neither does the taste in my mouth. Where are you going? The voice out of my mouth was from Irish Ale. Go on. Go to Haggerty's. Tell him Ulster must never be part of the Republic of Ireland. Get in a brawl. Well, maybe I will. I will. Now, you go on and get back in the house. Don't forget to use the left hook I showed you. Ah, sure, sure. <laughs> Had this argument with my friend, and he said, go to Haggerty's and say that I'll... Don't say it. Had this argument with my friend, and he says, go to Haggerty's and... Look, it's a fine night. Why don't you find a nice girl and hold hands? Go to Haggerty's and say that... Don't I'll... say it! Ulster must never be part of the Republic of Ireland. Glad you came out. I wouldn't have you miss the tryout for anything. You're my luck. Thanks. Still sore about our beef last night? No. Well, you're sore about something. It's a great left hook you showed me how to use. <laughs> All set? Yeah, I'll warm up with Nassau and I'll try the hand on Marty. I thought that's the way he figured. All right, boys, let's go. You can throw around like that. Are you all right, Marty? Skip, you had a fine about the hand, didn't you? Go on, take a shower. That's enough, Pip, huh? Come on in, fellas. You look fine in there, Johnny. No, I think your father's got something there, Pat. So long, Pat. Hi. Let's go, champ. The layoff sure didn't bother him. Sure didn't. Let's have a quote for my readers. How's the hand feel? Ask Marty. He felt it. Oh, brother. Thanks, Marty. Quote. Oh, brother. Unquote. Rick. You asked me to tell you. I'm telling you. Tonight, keep the whole evening free. Oh, it's the big step, huh? You want out. You're asking Pat. Yeah. Well, when she walks out... Tell her you'll be waiting in the third booth at Hoops. Right. You'll have a long wait. I haven't any readers, but I'd like a quote. How does the hand feel? The pain runs all the way up to here. We're really under the gun. Don't tell me again. I know. 
Get out of your contract with Sean. Johnny, there's an easier way than throwing a curve you don't like to throw. You could tell your girl about your hand. I could also get another lawyer. I know these things involve your pride, your resistance to sympathy, but let's leave it at that, huh? Beautifully done, I'm kind of hoping it's the build-up to asking me to marry you. Would you be mad if it wasn't? You think I would be? Yes, kid. You put your arms around me and love me. Eyes big enough to get lost in. This touch between us is wonderful, isn't it, Johnny? Your eyes on mine. Your lips on mine. between us. But you won't marry me. I didn't say that, Pat. I... You're my girl. I want to marry you. But I've got to know that I'll be able to take care of you. I, I can't just... I wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> I'm sorry, madame. It's all right. Muffly sorry, champ. It's okay. I'd like to drink with you, but... Uh, I know. Uh, Training. The waiter should have brought three glasses. One for the Invisible Man. Mr. Goff is sitting here with us. Would he be the best man at this wedding? Goff's got a million. I'll settle for half. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Except what I'd have to do to Sean. We'll take care of Sean. No, Sean likes to take care of himself. You know that. I won't ask him to release you. But we come first, Pat, not Sean. What's best for us is best for him. You don't mean that. What's your real reason? I don't want to wind up like our friend here, a waiter spilling champagne. Waiter? Nobody said it that. It could happen. Oh, Rick is right. You do think there's some kind of a gringo conspiracy. You know something, Johnny? The other day I was glad you didn't hurt your hand. But sometimes I wish you'd really wrecked it. Let go, Pat. Sometimes I think our only chance would be if you weren't the champ. Pat. Oh, it means too much to you, Johnny. It's always between us. I love you, Johnny. But you make it too tough. Rick's in the third booth at Hoops. I'll get you a cab. I'll take it, sir. Thank you. Rick, be sure and get down on Ragaway tomorrow. I ought to pay a bundle, son, a bundle.
don't you use your portable? I picked it up. It's got new ribbon in it. Ought to ride like a flash now. Tip for your services. I take your messages, make your phone calls, run your errands for you. Why don't you marry me? I'd make a good wife. A good wife? I want a bad one. Give it to Jack, will you? Hi. I was kind of expecting you. Rick, I... Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's go out on the town. No, thank you. I've had enough magic spell build up for one evening. Well, then let's eat right here. Charlie? No. I make it a point never to cry in public. Let's go up to your place. What? Well, you can make me some of that spaghetti you take such pride in. Yeah, fine, fine. Spaghetti, spaghetti. It's boiling. What do you do now? Oh, well, you take some of this and this and, of course, that and, uh, oh. These. Sort of blend the whole thing. Well, uh, here we go. Got plenty. Rick. You never made spaghetti in your life. You sure? Yes. You're so right. Frankly, I always thought if I got to this point, I wouldn't have to cook the stuff. You mean you've never been put to the test? Oh, you know me, Pat. I talk a good game. Of course, I always had a kind of a notion of how I'd meet the test if it ever came. I'll give you a sample. You be the girl. Well, thank you. Well, I always thought I'd be here uh, kind of cooking away, you know, and I'd... Uh, Look up suddenly. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I'd stare a little. <laughs> and then I'd say, uh, Gay Spout. What? I was walking down Fifth Avenue this afternoon. I saw a little old thing in the window. And you know something? I couldn't help buying it. It could have been designed just for you. For me? Certainly for you. Couldn't have been for nobody else. You know, that's a very graceful move you make. Not too much, just nice. Now the long, heartwarming look. <laughs> Shall we? Don't they always? Always. Now I'd um, stand her right here, I think. Now, sweet thing, close your little eyes. May I look? Well, they'd never ask that. They'd just stand there. <laughs> now? No, not yet, honey. <laughs> now? I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Gorgeous. Open your eyes. Oh, Rick. That's what they'd always say. Then I'd say, I said it was just for you. And they'd say, It's beautiful. Right. And then? Well, it's either there or it ain't. I wish it were there. I love having you be in love with me. It's, it's the one sure thing. Maybe if I worked real hard at it. It'd take? I think it would. That's Johnny's ring. Rick. Yeah? What about this pin? 
Is it always part of the act? No, Pat. Bought that pen just for you. It has a long time. Hello. I bought a present for you, Pedro. And I've got a very good idea for you. Bon voyage? Who's leaving, me or you? Well, it's the only one that had a ribbon. Oh, oh. Well, come in, come in. Pedro. Help me. Why should I? Because you're a canine fancier. Uh, like to have a grape or something? I said I had a good idea for you. Oh, uh, uh well, what is your idea, Johnny? Change this non-title fight to a title fight. Good. I know why Sean made it a non-title fight. One, Heldon doesn't rate a crack of the title. Two, if I should lose, Sean's got no more champ. Three, he wants to make a little money. But the gate is dying. Johnny's right. Make it a title bout, it's the only way to sell tickets. Well, for once, I didn't say something wrong. It figures, Pat, all the way. If we can just find an angle to bally who held him. Sure, make him a hero. Should be a cinch. I'm always a villain anyway. Ah, uh, now let's see, an angle on Heldon. Mm. How about, uh, how about he treats his dog like a brother? He helps all Boy Scouts across busy streets. He only hits his mother if she hits him first. <laughs> now we're rolling, you see. We'll make Sean a bundle. A good idea? Fine. I don't know what Sean will think about it. But a good idea. You're just like a kid. Both of you. Sometimes I make you so mad, huh? Yes, you do. Forgive me? One thing to forgive, another to forget. I'd be lost without you, Pat. Uh -huh. Well, I think it's about time both of you learned how to make spaghetti. I don't think I'd care for it myself. Okay, folks, hit a pose. Big smile now. That's it. How come Sean switched this hocus to a title match? To hype for the gate? I hope, I hope. How do you feel about your boy getting a crack at the title? I've always maintained that Heldon was the outstanding contender for the crown. Oh, Totem, come, come now. Let's grab one of Al and Pat. Uh, move in there, will you, Heldon? All right. Hold it. Look pleasant. Thank you. Good you. All set then, Totem? Yes, Pat, and thanks. And thanks, Sean, too. Huh? Yes, I will. Good luck. Good luck, right, boys. Send those in right away. All right, Al, how about a nice fighting pose? All right, give us a nice big grin. Why the grin? Title fight, non-title fight, he'll get knocked out either way. I'm picking Johnny to put him away in the eighth. What do you got to say to the public, Al? Well, he's a tough customer, but I'll try real hard. That's a boy. Anything else, fellas? No, that's all. Thanks a lot, Al. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Al. Great break for you, kid. Good luck. What a break. Johnny Monteras. When I get through with that greaser, he wanted the strength to pick this towel up. That's right, Al. That's right. It's time. Hello? Yeah, I've got it. Oh, hello, Pat. Where are you? Don't go home. Come on out here. Why? We'll dream up a reason. Nope. It's a title bout now, Johnny. You have to start training for real. Oh, I'll start tomorrow. Come on out, huh? Well, OK, Jan. I'll be there. Bye. Goodbye. You've got plenty of time alone with Sean now. That's all I need, Johnny. Turned out to be a pretty good story. Might even get me syndicated. Huh. It's your old bicycle here. He's covering both camps now. Well, my readers get the business, all of it. That they do. How did Heldon look to you? Same as ever. I still can't think of a reason to give him a shot at the title. I can give you a couple. Oh, thanks. One, Heldon's as strong as a bull. Two, he packs a terrific punch in that right hand. That he does. How's he going to get close enough to Johnny to use it? That's his problem. If he does get close, his feet are so flat he can't back up. That's bad. How are you doing with your spaghetti these days? Wonderful. <laughs> In fact, a friend of mine taught me a new recipe just lately. Call for you, Rick. Luke, plug in the phone, will you? Yes, sir. I think you'd better take this one in private. Grab the tap. Is 
last words were, Pat, help me. I can't breathe. And that he wanted an old-fashioned wake. I couldn't get through to you. I came right over. How is Sean? Very dead, thank you. Oh. Is there... What can I do? You did enough. You killed him. What? You didn't have nerve enough to do it yourself. You sent Balford, your talking boy, to do it. Balford told me Sean was agreeable. I'll bet he did. He told me it was worked out that Sean would keep a piece of my contract. Well, what did you expect him to say? You can believe him. That's your privilege. I don't. That's mine. But you believe I'd kill him? Who said Goff's got a million? I'll settle for half. I did. Sure. You telegraphed your punch and then you threw it from the floor. Shall I stop now? Am I breaking your heart? Well, go ahead and make excuses for him. You're awfully good at that. Come here, Pat. I got the marriage band coming, too. That lazy Leon and its two little lazy brats. <laughs> and you know the uncle. Mm-hmm. Yes. Juanito, we shall have a party. Wherever our people live, there is a fiesta the night that Johnny Monteras wins. So just for once, you will stay here and have fiesta with us. Sure. And that Rick born a gringo, die a gringo. Every time he and that gringo girl. Am I right? Sure. You did well to cut the gringo girl out of your heart. Am I right? Sure, you're right. You're always right. Mo! Hit me with the coal! Why, sure. In the hut room. Woohoo! Holy! Woohoo! Wow! Oh, there you are. Come on up. Not hot enough down there. Tell me, is this pleasure? Uh oh. I know better ways to get boiled. Sit yeah. down. Some salt on you. It helps you perspire. No, oh, never mind that. I wouldn't even be here if you hadn't said it was about Monteris. Come on, Giff. Am I one of your sources of information? Huh? Yeah, yeah, sure. And you protect your sources, eh? Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. That's why I brought you out here. It can't get out that I told you. All right, now you're safe. What is it? Heldon's gonna knock out Johnny Monteras. Oh, what you'll say for ten bucks? I'm getting out of here. Oh, no, no, Rick. I dug that story up under the noses of 20 so-called sports writers, and it's yours free. But Johnny's never been knocked out. Dick Rogan was the only guy who ever even knocked him down. This time it's down and out. Why? Johnny makes the same mistake that Joe Lewis used to make. The one that Schmeling spotted and then knocked Lewis out. And there never was a greater fighter than Lewis. You mean he drops his left before he throws his right? And every time Heldon or... You see, Heldon and Totem kept running the movies of Johnny's fight with Dick Rogan, secretly. I found out about it. And I ran him myself at the exchange and there it was to see why don't you use it? Might get yourself a job. Oh, I couldn't hold on. Just pick Heldon to win, Rick. It's yours because you're my friend, the one and only. You want to see the pictures? No. I want to get out of here. Thanks, Walker. This could be the big one. I'll take care of you. Thanks. Hello, Rick. Hi, 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 Hello, Rick. Where you been? Oh, they're out. I want you to work light today, Johnny. Yeah, yeah. Take it easy, champ. Come on, let's go. Hey, Nasso, want to mix it? You started, champ. Time. Johnny! 
Johnny, I said easy. Take it easy. Oh. He looks better all the time. He'll kill Hill this Why didn't Mother buy me one like him? Johnny, take it easy. Let him along, Seth. Have you seen enough? Yes. I don't know why I never noticed it before. Tell him. What else? Okay, boy? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Just glad my name ain't Helen. Come on, let's go. No, 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 that's enough. That's enough. Come on. Come on. Thought I told you a light workout. All right, all right. Hey, champ, can we have a picture with you and Nassau? Sure. Yeah, come on, fellas, hit a pose. Put your arm around him, champ. You look mighty good there, Johnny. Right about here. Right about here. Thank you. Jim. Let's have one of you alone, champ. Thanks, Nassau. Hey, Johnny, you gotta make a statement. What pearls of wisdom have you to spread among us? Well, since this is my last fight under the O'Malley banner, I'll try to make it a good one. You think you can take Heldon? Yeah, I think I can take him. That's why I'm fighting him. Heldon thinks he can't take me. That's why he's fighting me. <laughs> like the man says, may the best man win. <laughs> one more champ, right here. Uh, right here. Smile. <laughs> Good luck to you, champ. Thank you. Good luck, Johnny. Hello. Hi. Johnny? Hello. Do you want a statement? I'd like to see you. Do you want to see me? I've seen you. I guess Pat still blames me about Sean, huh? She doesn't feel you did it on purpose. She just thinks you worked it out, that mathematical brain of yours, and figured the percentage was against Sean dying. What do you think, my good friend Pedro? Well, I'm a sentimentalist myself. I figure you should have thought more with your heart and less with your head. Well, I guess it will work out for everybody. I'll get what I want, golf, and you'll be marrying Pat. And I know what that will do. Wedding bells murdered all friendships. Is that what you want to talk about? I did a lot of thinking before I came out here today, John. Oh, did you think with your head or with your heart? I finally decided I had to tell you something. You sound like a guy telling some kid that there is no Santa Claus. Well, in a way, that's what I am telling you. I'm going to write a story tomorrow saying that Heldon will knock you out. Well, I believe in freedom of the press. You've got a right to your opinion. Wouldn't you like to know why I'm writing a story? Oh, I know you, Johnny. That little shrug means you're dying with curiosity. Well, I'll tell you. Been dropping your left before you throw your right. Heldon knows it. He's been running the pictures of every fight you've had. He'll counter punch you right out of the championship. Anything else? Oh, Johnny, this is on the level. Stop horsing me and kidding yourself. I'll tell you what we'll do. You go write your story. And tomorrow night I'll drop Heldon right in your lap for a wedding present, okay? Okay, Johnny. Keep your punches up. In case of a knockdown, the man on his feet go to the farthest local corner. Any question? Shake hands now and come out funny at the door. Buenos suertes, amigo. Good luck, Johnny.
fight is it? Hurting Johnny. that right hand. You sure take this one right. Helton's killing him with that right cross. Oh, just the way I said. You're killing him now. You're getting him good at it. Johnny, how's he tagging you with that right cross? I drop my left when I throw my right. He knows it. What? Want to train it out of me? You've got 10 seconds. Box him, Johnny. Just box him. Stay away from him. Don't try to box him in. Now the challenger and the champion meet in the center of the ring. Bobby Hills and Bobby That's more like it. Doesn't matter how long it was half now. Almost got held at that time. Johnny's getting arm weary. Can't even hold his left out. Oh, you're crazy. He'll get to him. Dope, you dumbbell. I told you, don't go wild. You're throwing a title right out the window. You look fine in there, Johnny. You almost got him that time. He can punch. He can punch good. I told you, keep banging him with that right. Keep banging him. He's tiring. He can't slug with this boy. Don't you think so, Rick? Yeah, he's getting hurt, all right. Hold still, Johnny. How's the eye, Charlie? OK, OK. Hey, all right, I'll take a seat. Box him, Johnny, box him. No, I've got to get him before he gets me. Stay on top of him. I just dropped this round. Johnny is the Mont Paris of old.
Johnny, where are you? Taylor. Pat. Taylor. Johnny, who am I? Pat. Taylor. Sir's dressing room. Nobody. There'll be another time, Johnny. Well, now I know how he feels to be knocked out. I don't like it. Two to one, that's Rick. Let him in. Hi, sir. Hi, Rick. Sorry I didn't deliver Heldon to you. Maybe I should get your silver platter instead. Silver platters I can get myself. I wish it had been Heldon. Well, this ought to be good for your career, Rick. Get your raise. The only guy who called it right. Yes, Pat should be very proud of you. I don't like those bad jokes about Pat and me. She's your girl. Shut up about Pat. I came out of this with my hand okay. In three months, I'll take Helen and I'll give him what Louis gave Schmeling the second time around. I hope so. I know so. And look, Rick, I don't want you around here feeling sorry for me. And stop playing Cupid for Pat and me, will you? I don't want any more speeches about mongrel dogs and canine fanciers. I want to live in my own world, and there is no room in it for either you or Pat. What are you going to do, wear a sombrero? Got it out, Rick. Johnny, you go on hating what you call the gringo world, you're going to destroy yourself, and Marina, and most important of all, Pat. Oh, you were going to slug me then, weren't you? Well, you always said you would. That'd be a great way to settle things. Get out of here before I throw you out. Oh, now you're using your head. Your brain is as hard as your right hand. Well, don't worry about Pat. I'll take it. What is this, Johnny? Mm. Well, it was a tough fight, Mom. But I lost. Let's see the hand, Johnny. No, call Doc Esmond. I thought I'd find you here. Hello, Gump. You shouldn't be here. Shouldn't I? It's been wrong for us ever since we met. You're nothing but grief to me. I don't want anything to do with you, now or ever. I... What's so funny? You've blasted me so often for real that you're kind of cute now when you're pretending. Pretending? My hand smashed. No title. Goff won't want me. He certainly won't. I've got nothing left. Except Johnny Monteris, which is all I've ever wanted. Oh, Pat, I haven't changed. Not just overnight. I've learned, sure, oh, but I... of course we'll still have fights. It wouldn't be us if we didn't. I do need you. Well? Oh, God. Do you really want me, Pat? It's so hard for you to believe. I was so sure I couldn't hold you if I weren't the champ, the big name, the big money. Me you want, huh? I guess if I'd kept the title, I, I would have never known. Oh, I'm very lucky. We both are. We love each other, Johnny. Yes. Pat, I... I did. 
didn't break it on Helen. I broke it on Rick. Yes, I know. I wrecked my hand. I wrecked my friendship. I... Oh, I don't think so. I thought you'd never whistle. Anything you haven't got settled now, you can settle later. And there'll be plenty to settle. Gump! Yeah? Any other boys here? No. Well, pull yourself together. We got places to go. Hey. What kind of adhesive tape do you wear? Johnson and Johnson. Me too. It's so dashing. Yeah, so new looking. <laughs> now, come on, we gotta go to Fiesta. Fiesta? At Mom's, 500 people there. What? Well, nearly. And the music. Lazy Leon and his two lazy brats. yip <laughs> Come on, Mom and Marina are afraid the tequila will run out. Right, Pat? Right. <laughs> You've met Mom? Mm-hmm. She's little, like me. Would you get in the car? It's a long drive. Oh, I don't know. It's only 25 miles. Oh, I'm gonna like this. Uncle Pedro. Tio Pedro. Tio. Tio. Tio Pedro. Tio Pedro. Get in. Aren't you coming with us? Are you kidding? A mother-in-law on a honeymoon? I'll be along with Gump. Well, hurry up. We'll see you there. What happened? Where'd they go? They went out of Mom's. We're gonna have a fiesta. Fiesta? Gump? Have you ever been to Haggerty's? Get the station wagon. Thank <laughs> you.